Sending out letters in the mail, maybe you got one, warning your community could be placed on probation for not building back properly from Hurricane Ian. That means you could lose your flood insurance discount. So what do you do now? As NBC2's Dave Elias explains, most of you do not need to be overly concerned just yet. Well, chances are if you live in a flood zone area in Lee County and you rely on FEMA for your flood insurance, chances are you got one of these letters from FEMA. Now, at first glance, it can be pretty alarming, but the county and all of the communities involved insist it's a mere formality. The letters are warning homeowners that their community could be placed on probation. That doesn't mean we are going on probation. It's just a process that FEMA has to follow. Lee County Manager Dave Harner warned that the letters were coming last week. With that in the letter, it will state a few concerning items. In short, it warns people could be paying hundreds of dollars more a year. Anytime you get a letter uh, threatening potential bad outcomes from a federal agency, it's, it's going to cause a stir. We've, we've heard some folks about it. So has insurance agent Doug Nellens. He's telling the majority of his clients not to be overly concerned yet. Naturally, they're a bit anxious about the way the letter is worded, but we've alleviated them by letting them know that this is just a pre-notification letter. No action is necessary on the part of the homeowners. He points out that the pressure is on Cape Coral, Fort Myers Beach, Estero, Bonita Springs, and unincorporated Lee County to come into compliance with FEMA by November 18th. The responsibility to cure the measure is solely in the hands of the city and county floodplain management office. FEMA region for Administrator Robert Salmon says he appreciates communities that are taking the matter seriously and working to improve the identified deficiencies. That's exactly right. The county is still working on uh, addressing all of the concerns that were outlined by FEMA. I, I'm confident they're going to get where they need to get. Now, residents fear that not getting it right will cost them more money that they don't have. It's going to be extremely expensive for people. Now, if you had any unpermitted repair work from Hurricane Ian, you are advised to reach out to your local community or FEMA to report it so that the work can be inspected. For the rest of you, you have nothing to do for now as long as your community meets that November deadline. In North Fort Myers, Dave Elias, NBC2.